Abby here with Scrap and Abby and Little Miss Bella. She's joining us on this video. Just wanted to do a quick intro into my daughter's room. The, now this is in our, it's in a new construction home, but this is um, kind of our temporary home because we are wanting to purchase a house here in Florida, but we bought, or excuse me, we are leasing this house until we get to know the area a little bit better and decide what neighborhood we want to live in. So I originally was going to paint um, the walls in here, or maybe just a focal wall for her, in the really pretty kind of teal turquoise she likes but since our plan is to move within six months to a year i didn't really want to personalize this room too too much and then have to move and then kind of start over again as far as like some really cool decoration paint wise and um mirror wise on the wall because my husband he's a graphic artist and he can draw so um what i'm doing is just really putting some pops of color in here of her favorite color palette and then once we move to our permanent home then we'll really be able to personalize this um, a lot more uh, better for her. That's what I'm trying to spit out. So this is when you, you walk into her room here. And I love that all the rooms in this house have a ceiling fan, which is perfect because it's so hot here in Florida. So this is just one of those cheapo mirrors you get from Walmart. She's had this in her other room. It's white edging. I might replace that or I might decorate it up a little bit. I'm not sure what I decide to do. So these are all the different totes and everything from when we moved here. This was all in the Penske moving truck, all of these boxes. That is kind of the color palette. I'm going with that shade. And then this shade here with pops of black. And then the colors, um, not the purple, but like the um, pink and that turquoise kind of color. Those are some can, trash cans and different things from her room back in Oregon. So this is her bed. And it got a little bit dinged up from the moving truck, which a lot of stuff did. I had a lot of my girlfriends tell me who see it's like dinged right there. And this was a brand new bed. It's like, oh man. But I'm going to put some old English on that and fix it. There's a couple spots over there too. So I'm going to be getting her some new bedding and to accent the pillows. Not these pillows. These are just extras that she has thrown on her bed. But um, some pillows that match her, her room, which are in the bags right now. This is her TV she got for Christmas last year. My husband's going to mount that on the wall. I'll show you that wall in a moment. So this is the closet next to her bed. Um, I'm going to be hanging some of those things I shared with you in my other haul video, which I'll share again here once I get to that part of the project. And then I have something that's going to hang over the door here to give her additional storage. Back in Oregon, her room, she had a walk-in closet. So this is a really decent-sized closet. I am totally not knocking it. She's lucky to have a closet of her own. I grew up in a house with six kids. <laughs> I have five siblings, and four of us shared a room for a very long time. So, And that's her old shoe rack, and I'll get to that once I get to the other that part of the project. There's some bags, just some different bed pillows and such. This is the lamp. This was actually in my craft room before, and this got really dinged up in the truck. We had everything packed really well, but just traveling across country in a Penske truck, it happens, no matter if it's a professional mover doing it or if it's us. So it got dinged up, so I think I might either just repaint this or maybe cover some washi or something in the color she likes. If I can't get it to stand up straight, I'll just chuck it and then go get a new one. And my battery's about to die, unfortunately. So this is really the basic um, setup of the room. Window over there, as you saw. And then this is the wall where her TV's going to go once my husband gets back from business trip. So I will come back once my camera is charged and I have some of the projects laid out that I'm going to share with you. Just wanted to document what her room looked like before we started. See you ladies in a little bit. Hello ladies, Abby here again with Scrappin' Abby. So this is another clip um, I'm filming for my daughter's room makeover. Sorry if it looks kind of blah, 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 like that. I have the ceiling, the light on with the ceiling fan. So it's just kind of reflecting off the plastic. So these are the organizers that I um, shared in my Beals haul, which uh, will be in my haul kind of playlist. So these are the different organizers I bought for my daughter's room, but I'll kind of recap. This is a 10 shoe, excuse me, 10 shelf um, closet organizer. So I'm going to put her shoes in that, and I have two of them. This one is a six shelf uh, closet organizer. I guess it looks better that way. So this I plan on putting like her shorts and some of her tank tops, things like that. I have two of these um, under the bed storage. So I'm going to put like her hoodies and sweaters, things of that nature under the bed. And then, um, yeah, then I got this one here, which is over the door shoe storage she can put like some of her underclothes socks volleyball things stuff like that in there 
Now, as I mentioned, her closet in this room is not as big as the one that we had, but I'm gonna make the most out of the space that I possibly can. So I'm gonna get this, sorry, it's kind of late here now, so it's a little bit of a shadow, but I'm gonna be putting that expandable shoe rack in the garage, because we're not gonna need it for her room, unless she has more shoes than I remember. And then um, all of these things in the bags, these are different pillows from her room. All of her clothes, uh, most of them, are in this tote here, and then we have some um, other items over there. She does have a huge suitcase that she's bringing from Oregon to Florida because she needed some clothes, obviously, there at her dad's house because she was with him for almost two months. So she will be coming with a lot more clothes as well. So I may run back to Beals and um, grab a couple more of these if they have any left. If not, I'll just like check Target and that kind of place for those or maybe order online so I can kind of stay with this teal um, color for her room because I really wanted to utilize the space under her bed. As you can see, it's raised, so those will fit down there perfectly. And that, to me, is just wasted space. So we can really, really utilize the extra storage in this room because, again, it's not as big as her room that we had before. So I'm already working on some really cool um, DIY crafty projects. They're drying right now, so I need to work on this project for the moment. But I, I got some really cool ideas I'm going to be creating a really awesome fabric banner. I'm not sure if I'm going to hang it there or if I'm going to hang it probably there on that wall because her TV is going to get mounted here. Sorry, you're just looking at white space. Her TV is just, uh, with that focus here, her TV is going to fo uh, be mounted on this wall. This is the biggest wall she has in the room with no window or doorway, of course. So we're really going to try to utilize that space for her. And then, um, yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave this clip. I don't know if I'm going to put all these together or put them up in separate clips. I might just make it one long video, I think, because that'll be less editing for me. This sign here, <laughs> I didn't share with you in the first part of the video. I just sketched that out really quickly, um, and I had our little dots and Bella on the bed because my, my daughter and I, we were... Um, texting back and forth today and she's like how's Bella does she miss me and so I just did that and I had Bella sitting there I'll try to insert a picture um, at the end of the video sharing that with you what it looks like because it's really adorable so I'm going to go ahead and get these things on um, out of the packaging get them kind of set up and then I'm going to start organizing the clothes that she has here into that I was going to set this up on my tripod and kind of do like a vlog and fast forward it but um, I just probably am just going to focus on trying to get this part done because I do have a lot, a lot of projects I'm working on at one time. And I have less than, um, let's see, she'll be here in a week and two days, I think. So with my face pain, facial pain, I have to kind of work in little spurts. So anyway, I don't want to rambling about that. I will see you ladies and um, once I get some of this stuff unpacked and in the closet and show you where I'm at with that. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Hi ladies, I thought I'd pop on here real quick. This is the same day or evening as the last bit of footage you just saw. It's almost 11 o'clock and I am really, really, really pushing myself in a bad way. So I'm actually going to have to probably call it quits for tonight. Um, this is where I'm stopping. It looks like a complete clothes bomb went off in here. Um, but her clothes were in there, so obviously I'm sorting everything and I'm going to wash it so just, just so it smells fresh and it's not all wrinkly and everything like that. But um, as far as these storage bags so far, I am really loving these. And I'm going to make it my mission um, in the next day or two to hit the other two Beals outlets that are in my area. I want to try to find some more of these. If I can't find the same particular brand or color, that's totally fine. It doesn't matter because it'll be under the bed. But this is working out perfectly. Um, it's a little bit flimsy, so what I did is I took some of the cardboard that came in some of the shoe organizers and I just stuck it in here, rounded it um, around the edge over here. And just to prove <laughs> that I'm showing something that's probably not really screaming crafty to you on my craft channel, but I took some score tape and I cut this down because I only had three um, pieces. So, um, or wait, yeah, three pieces. And so these are the strips that I used when I cut down one of the widths of these this cardboard because it was a little bit too tall. So I wanted to fit in there perfectly. And that's just going to give a little bit of um, structure. That's what I'm shooting for, a little bit of, you know, um, something for the, you know, to kind of keep it from collapsing onto the clothes, hopefully. So um, that's where I'm at so far with this. These are all of her different decorative pillows and stuff that go on her bed. I don't want to take them out yet until I get the bedding, and then I'll take these out for breeze them just so they're kind of fresh smelling. Everything was clean before we moved, but, you know, with her not being here for almost two months after we got here, her stuff has been in bags or in the different boxes and totes. Um, in the garage sealed so they're clean but you know I just wanted to be freshened up and not so wrinkly because like this is one of her um, newer shirts she got 
and um, before we moved and you can see it's just all wrinkly and I just want it to look nice and fresh for her when she gets here. So this is where I'm at so far with the closet. Um, this is that shoe organizer and I've just kind of started sticking like some of her longer socks that she likes to wear around the house instead of, you know, slippers, that kind of thing. These are some of her sports bras. I have some different boot cuffs in here. Um, these up, all the things up here are related to volleyball, like her knee pads and her ankle supports. I just have her Disney ears sitting there just for the time being. These are her longer socks, like her tube socks that she likes to wear for practice and that kind of thing. I'm probably gonna, just going to start putting her underclothes and everything in there. These are the four totes I found at one Dollar Tree. I need one more. I've got space for one more, so I'm on the hunt for another one. If I can't find it in this color, I'll just pick whatever works best, whether it be black or white. Hopefully it's white, but I would prefer this. So in this one, I have um, just one bucket of her socks. My daughter has a ton of socks. She's a lot like her mama. So these are all like her ankle socks and no-show socks mixed in there. And um, I'll use another one if I need to because she will be obviously be bringing clothes with her from Oregon. So though this is one of the two other additional shoe organizers. And I'm sorry the lighting's so bad. Yeah, it'll be better tomorrow, I promise. I just want to shoot this before I get going. And these um, have, like, most of her flip-flops, which, of course, in her... She calls these slides. That's what her, my daughter and my son call these. They call these kinds of shoes slides. Um, so those are in there. And she has a lot more flip-flops and shoes that she has with her, of course. This one here, you're not going to be seeing it all. It's so dark in here. I apologize. This is the other one. And this has most of her tennis shoes. You can't even see. And then this other one I stuck right here has, like, her volleyball um, and athletic shorts, her Spanx, that kind of thing. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to do her um, pajama bottoms and tops here or not. But see, if you look at this, she doesn't have a lot of real estate here for clothes that need to hang and she's got a lot that need to hang so I need to figure something out I may I might need to remove one of these possibly and try to find some kind of a storage unit um, you know really cool kind of like college dorm looking thing because we don't want to buy furniture to fit this house for obvious reasons because I've already explained it to you but I want her to have space and room for something so I might have to kind of jimmy rig something until we move but I'm just really trying to figure out the best way to make it look cute for her, at least when she gets here. So it's kind of, you know, um, an evolving process, I guess. So that is where I'm at, ladies. And I will be back when there's actual daylight, so it looks better for the camera. And when I have a little bit more done, and I, like I said, I'm just kind of switching gears and doing this kind of thing because I'm waiting for the projects I've been working on for her room that are crafty to be dry, and then I'll get back into the crafty stuff tomorrow. So just gonna have little snippets of this non-crafty stuff because it's all part of the transformation. I'll see you ladies later. Um, and um, yep, I'll be back in the next video. Bye.